In the previous video, we learned how one could graph a quadratic function, and you basically get just one of two pictures. If your, your function could be looking like this, which is examples we saw in the, previous value, in the previous video, or your parabola, if you reflect it downward, would look something like this. So you have this concave up parabola and this concave down parabola uh, based upon the curvature here or here, right? Now, in this video, what I want to focus on is the following idea. Look at the vertex in these two situations. Well, if you're in the concave up situation, that means that your leading coefficient was actually positive. You did not perform a reflection. And the vertex in that situation will represent a minimum value of the range. So in this situation, your, your parabola, let's say the vertex was h comma k. In this situation, your range, the range of the function would be k to infinity because the vertex represents a minimum value. Now, if you're in the concave down situation, that's because you actually reflected your graph downward, and so your A value is negative. And in this situation, you actually have a maximum value. This is the biggest value in the range. And so then the range of the function F would then look like negative infinity up to K. So the vertex of a parabola will always represent um, some limit to how big or small the range can be. The range, it'll always be a maximum or minimum value. It'll be a minimum when you're concave up, which means you actually have a positive leading coefficient, and it'll be a maximum value if your leading coefficient is negative. And that'll be a very interesting thing for some future story problems we're gonna do in a later, later lecture. But consider we have the quadratic function f of x equals 5x squared minus 30x plus 49. Now, if we want to determine the vertex of this parabola, we'd have to kind of put this thing in vertex form and go from there, which is what we're going to do right here. So in doing so, we're going to get that f of x equals, factor out the coefficient from the x's, so you take away the 5, that leaves behind x squared minus 6x, leave a space, plus 49. Then we need to find the b value, that's half of the, the 6 right here, b equals negative 3 which means b squared equals positive nine. We add nine to both sides. I'm gonna switch the color. We're gonna add nine to both sides, but then we have to subtract 45. 45, of course, being nine times five right here. So we end up with five times x minus three squared. We get 49 minus 45, that's a plus four. And so what we see is that the vertex the vertex of this parabola is going to be 3, 4. You always have to switch the sign because you're in the horizontal zone for the for h there. So you're going to get four comma, 3, 4. That's the vertex. Now, is the vertex a maximum or minimum value? Well, looking at the leading coefficient here, you have a 5. 5, which is your a value, is greater than 0. So this means we're going to be a concave up type picture. And so this tells us that the vertex here represents a minimum of the graph. It is gonna be the smallest point on the graph. And that's an important observation to mention here. Now, another thing I wanna mention is that we actually knew we were gonna have a minimum even before we computed the vertex. Because of this fact right here, notice that the coefficient, you know, if you have a standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, if you have this standard form versus the vertex form right here, a times x minus h, squared plus k. You'll notice I use the exact same symbol whether you have the standard form or the vertex form, and that's not a coincidence. That number is going to be the exact same. So we started off with a 5, and you ended up with a 5, in which it's a positive 5 the entire time. We knew that this parabola, even in the standard form, was going to have its vertex was going to be an absolute minimum of the graph. Uh, we just had to switch the vertex form to figure out where was the vertex actually located, but we knew at because a was 5 that it was going to be a minimum of the graph. 